Hello there and welcome to Dog Daisy. This is the fourth in a series of Scottish wildflower classes. We'll be focusing on the Dog Daisy or Oxide Daisy and near where I live, these grow on the grassy banks of the road into Edinburgh in large swathes. So, so pretty. We're going to start proceedings by using all the colours that we have in our palette to create beautiful flows and blossoms of water. I'll take you through quickly mixing a grey and we'll be using this for shadow underneath our daisy petals. In this class I want to dispel the myth that developing your own style takes years. It doesn't have to. There is merit in both exploring a smorgasbord of multiple techniques and repetitive learning in one area. So I hope with Dog Daisy and the classes mentioned above that you have a good resource for developing your expressive watercolour skills with oodles of movement and pretty finishing touches. We'll be using four different values throughout this class, so I'm just going to quickly take you through that. We'll be practising various movements and learning to start the movement before the brush hits the page. I'm also really keen here for you to take on ownership of the word artist. I think we often feel that we have to wait for years until we can take on that mantle of being an artist. But you are an artist now. As soon as you paint, you are an artist. You're an artist just looking at art and thinking about what attracts you, what you would like to learn. And also just validates all the efforts that you're taking towards this journey of becoming a more confident watercolourist. We're going to have three hero flowers and then some little flowers around. Creating lovely loose leaves, we can then add details to. As always, you can post your project in our project and resources section. Let's move on with the class now. <laughs> 